Okay, here's a little better video than last night. Uh, I apologize for the mess. Anyways, here is my gasifier. Kind of hard to make it out with all the clutter, but up close, we've got a reactor vessel. Just this guy, shiny hat. Uh, that's my clean out port. Inside there, that's my grate. There's a fire cone in there. It's insulated. It's made to keep a bit of the coals burning hot. The old viewport. Uh, I was going to be an ignition port. I'm going to patch it up. Uh, that's an old diesel tank. And this is a hopper. It's actually separated right here. I'm going to put the wood in there. This has all got to be airtight. Uh, this is where it's going to get the air. I'm going to have a valve right here. Uh, where I can throttle the air. Uh, of course, that's going to have to be patched up right there. So it comes out. It burns inside. And it comes up right here. And it comes down this pipe. Down here. Into my air bubbler cyclone. Got the idea from an old water bong I used to have back in college. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, I ain't never went to college. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so it's going to go in there. It's going to go through some water and it's gonna exit right here uh, water will be about right here and that's gonna cool it off and collect a whole lot of this crap that I don't want going to my engine uh, it's gonna come up through here and the rest is just redundancy because I really do think that air bubbler is gonna take care of most of the problem uh, it's gonna go around here into the the radiator it's split three ways and here I haven't closed it up yet, but you can see I've got, well, maybe you can see that center pipe there is up higher where the inlet is actually blasting it right at the side so it doesn't try to go through there and just only there. So it'll actually branch off to the side. And they'll, they'll all come down and go to that cross right there. And the, the gas will exit out that pipe and the condensation will form down here and I got that little valve there I'm gonna have a little mason jar attached to it to be able to empty that out uh, but anyway so back to the journey it's going through the radiator out that pipe right there into the tri-filter setup uh, coarse material wood chips or whatever uh, the top is gonna have a cap so that I can fill it and then the bottom is gonna be uh, the same thing I'm gonna have another mason jar to catch condensate and also to clean it out uh, and a little screen holding everything. Got the idea from Flash uh, USA 001, something like that. Anyways, yeah, a real good guy. Took the time out to actually talk to me. Uh, but anyways, coarse material, up and over, medium grade or medium uh, uh, grade or whatever you want to call it material. Uh, something about the consistency of like pillow stuffing, but you know, uh, something that'll work. Uh, Probably a little better than pillow stuff uh, down there, and then back across the bottom. And all three of these towers are going to have the mason jar at the bottom, and the clean out at the bottom, and then the uh, fill port on top. So it's going to go and then back up here. It's my fine material, my sawdust. It's going to be real fine sawdust. It's a little shorter than the rest of them, and then it's going to come out the top. there and come out the top into the final filter right here I was gonna put an inline paper filter uh, but the very first gas fire I built this was this was actually the first filter in that that uh, conglomeration it's an old feed water tank that we pulled from a customer and they let me have it uh, that tube goes all the way to the bottom and uh, and I've uh, filled it with wood chips and sawdust and all kinds of stuff and then I got it uh, uh, no I'm sorry it doesn't go all the way to the bottom this tube goes all the way to the bottom that tube just terminates right inside so the smoke goes down or the gas goes in there starts filling this up and that effectively becomes basically a gas tank uh, but it comes it's gonna fill that up and the force of itself is gonna push it up through a tube that I've got attached to this T down at the bottom and I've got even finer sawdust in that in there and it's gonna come up and it's gonna exit out here. I'm gonna actually turn this this way. And uh, uh, 
then it's going to be i'm going to have a fan which is right there fart fan from a bathroom i'm hoping that's going to be enough if not i got a couple other fans around here uh going to be attached to that in line and it's going to split off i'm going to have that on one train and then splitting off here is going to be another hose with the valve going down to my generator and i've already modified the air intake with a union half right here i'm going to pipe just pipe it straight into the air intake uh, as per every internet video that i've seen um, and hopefully it it runs and this here is a uh, 3500 watt generator uh no i'm sorry a 4000 watt generator and that is continuous um so that ought to take care of you know the fridge and the air conditioner uh and that's most of my electric bill right there but anyways uh eventually i'm either gonna start adding generators because i built it big enough to really do uh more than one generator or I've got another idea I'm working on. So I may end up just selling this whole beast right here to somebody. Uh, but either way, uh, I'm hoping my next month's electric bill is, you know, less than 50 bucks. Uh, fingers crossed.